question I'm commonly asked by our customer base is, do I need a volumetric leak rate, in other words, something like standard cubic centimeters per minute, to do pressure decay testing? The answer, quite simply, is no, it's absolutely not mandatory, but it might help. Actually, a significant number of our customers, particularly those who perform medical device testing, test to purely a pressure change or pressure decay result. So in these cases, the customer elects not to do empirical study and determination of what air volume leak rate will result in performance problems with their part. And instead, they classify typical good parts and set a window around that. By contrast, leak rate is actually the volume of air exiting or leaving the part versus a pressure change measured internally within the part. In reality, the method of test is exactly the same between these two techniques, converting from a pressure loss reject limit to a leak rate. Once a leak rate is actually selected, is quite simple. This method is executed by utilizing a known non-leaking test piece and effectively teaching the instrument the volume under test with no leak present. The instrument memorizes this decay value from a typical non-leaking part and enters that into memory as zero cc's. We then retest utilizing typically the same known non-leaking test piece along with an NIST traceable certified leak of a known value in standard cubic centimeters a minute. The instrument is given this value and when it executes the next test, it memorizes the additional decay that that leak standard is responsible for. The system now has two calibrated points in memory, zero and ideally, if the leak standard was built near the leak limit, the leak limit threshold itself. We look forward to working with you.